What's up Virgo? How are you doing? If you're new to the channel, a very warm welcome. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo born on the 13th of September. Happy Friday 13th to you. Are you suspicious about this date? Virgo, <clears throat> you know what comes to mind and I suppose this is for my ladies. <laughs> Protect your coochie protect your coochie with all costs and I say that because so I shuffled and cut the deck right queen of pentacles and we're going to do a love reading okay queen of pentacles ace of cups I see new love here I do it's um a reoccurring message these last few days and then we have the hierophant so a possible Taurus could be coming towards you and then I saw the high priestess then we have the cancer eight of swords oh you see you see right there, right there, guys, this is the warning, you know, especially with the high priestess there, guys, all right, um, girls and guys, you know, I feel like um, people, especially to my women, you know, people are going to be very much attracted to you, infatuated with you, but Virgo, remember what I said, okay, 2023 is the year of healing, all this hard work, you know, remember the last person that messed you around, fucked with your heart? You got to remember that there's still people out there that will, that will um take advantage of you, okay? So don't, I feel, I didn't feel the need for jumpers today. I feel like just be careful, protect your coochie. You don't need to give the first person that gives you some attention, what it is that they want, okay? So, four of cups, you know, and I feel like a lot of you guys are rising above a lot of energies here. Four of cups talks about boredom, okay? The devil works, uh, makes work for idle hands. So, be careful of boredom. I feel like you, know, you guys are just fed up, fed up with the same old, the same old BS, the same old crowd the same old repetitive energies you know it's almost like you guys man or woman you can smell shit a mile off of ago yeah so you know maybe you was in that energy and you were feeling a bit down in the dumps hung up over somebody in particular wondering if you missed an opportunity but then we get a beautiful dynamic here it's like completely done a 360 with the empress card there empress card signifies pregnancy you know, and that's not for everybody. It also signifies an unconditional love, self-care, um, purification of your mind, your body, your spirit. Glow up season, Virgo. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm here for it, darling. Again, Taurus energy, Libra energy. We have Aquarius energy here as well. But what I see here is like, I feel this energy, Virgo, when you're just like, you know what, I'm going to do me, I know my worth, I'm going to get shit done, I'm going to look after myself, I'm going to, no one's going to love me the way I'm going to love myself, it all starts with ourselves, right, like, lo love starts within, wow, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, you know, Virgo, this Three of Swords is going to be in the centre of the reading, and I know people have broken your heart, but look at the energy surrounding this Three of Swords, it's like, yeah, it is what it is, you know, people have broke my heart, but I'm no longer going to break my own heart, I'm no longer doing it, I'm going to enjoy life with the Knight of Wands here, I'm going to dance to the beat of my own drum, this is adventure, this is getting out, this is manifesting, this is enjoying life, this is all about just like living, you know, living Virgo, really getting into that spirit of, yeah, if I'm single, it is what it is. And you know, Virgo, again, I know you haven't had it easy and it may be that this reading has to be your kind of like wake up call. You know, maybe you're stuck in sadness, but I do feel like um, there's definitely a message here for those of us that have had a lot of heartbreak, a lot of bullshit, a lot of despair, regret. You know, we're all guilty of regretting things. Somebody betrayed you, broke your heart, third party situations. We got to embrace that it is what it is energy, okay? No one is responsible for us. We're responsible for ourselves. So it's a case of you need to take on this energy or you're doing the work. And I hope that a lot of you guys are doing the work, okay? Nine of Pentacles energy is like getting out into nature more. It's about 
being grateful grateful for life waking up in the morning and say thank you for another day lord thank you for another day universe i'm going to grab it with two hands i'm going to do something constructive today i'm going to live my life i'm going to stand alone if i need to in strength in grace it's a very abundant type of energy as well i love the full card because there's this an awakening here this is you guys being enthusiastic Realizing your potential here, there's definitely a new beginning for a lot of Virgos and it feels very auspicious. It feels very good indeed. You guys are getting into this contented energy. Life is for celebrating. There's a lot of milestones being met. There's a lot of inner peace of Virgo and you deserve that inner peace. You don't deserve this energy. You don't deserve this energy at all. You deserve inner peace. I see a lot of spiritual and material satisfaction here. A lot of personal achievement. So much to be celebrated. So much to enjoy. So much abundance that a lot of you guys have sown. You didn't get here just by sitting around. And yeah, again, we're all guilty of being in that kind of negative vibration. And there may have been a painful separation here. Someone may have broke your heart. Shadows came to light. You found inspiration again, Virgo. And I feel like a lot of you, your heart remains open. It remains open. Justice. Let's see if I can back this up a little bit. And back that thing up, girl. <laughs> Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is, you're almost there, Virgo. justice, abundance. Things have been heavy. 2022, there was a lot of lessons here, man. I know that for free. Feels very good indeed. Very, very, very good indeed. This is your opportunity now to free yourself from shit that doesn't serve you with the Ten of Wands energy here. You're very close to an extremely successful outcome here. Ten of Wands is a message to keep on going, baby. Keep on going. Get your priorities in order, okay? You've, you've took on a lot. And again, this is your opportunity to free yourself from every burden that feels heavy, heavy you know? Lots of responsibilities. I love the Justice card. Justice is coming in for you. This is all about karmic lessons. It's all about getting a bit wiser. Taking accountability as well. It's not about blaming the next person. It's about looking within. And I think that's a lot of Virgo's power. You know, it's one of your unique powers. And that's looking within and saying, you know what? I need to be the change or here's what I can fix. I'm not responsible for anyone else's behaviors. I'm responsible for my own behavior. So I'm going to be accountable for that. Looking at stuff from a different perspective. And look what you get for it. You get abundance. Spiritually, materially. This is about community. This is about generosity, wealth, prosperity. Building a legacy. Virgo's got bigger shit to do. Bigger fish to fry. This is the big one. Love, abundance, joy, success. Long-term commitment, long-term success. Very positive energy. So you should expect the arrival of success. Expect the arrival of happiness. Feeling more upbeat. Change and it feels really good. You're like one small move away from seeing the bigger picture. A huge legacy here. You deserve this success. You deserve this love. And that is what... The universe is giving you and reminding you, gifting you with this and saying, here you go, Virgo. This is what you get for healing, for taking accountability, for choosing to be happy, choosing to be positive, getting on with it, enjoying life because life is too friggin' short. It's too short. Cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours and not only can... 
Okay. What's yours is yours and no one can take it from you, Virgo. There's no need to compete and there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. What a beautiful message. Yes, darling, we don't compete with others. We are very competitive, but mainly with ourselves, right? <laughs> like we want to get better. Let me just take this opportunity to say, guys, I really feel the love that you're giving me on the channel and I respect you highly for it. Donations. I think that says tithing or tithing and charitable work. Give joyful. No, give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. And that's you, Virgo, definitely for me anyway. And know that your generosity will be returned to you many folds in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money and other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. You know, you give, you get it back tenfold. That's what the universe is always been about you know good karma good energy comes back wow successful funding your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of god that gave you that idea do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to you okay money is there you know, it's all around us. It's there for you to grab. And again, it's yours. You know that I do see a lot of success here. And I feel like a lot of you guys are really giving naturally. Two more cards. Have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength. As it's as is accepting it as it is offered to you very often when you ask god for help prayers are answered through other people be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided one more card beautiful virgo visualize abundance in all forms god gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, helpful, positive and filled with blessings. And this is what you will experience. I feel obliged to say this again. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, helpful, positive and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. A beautiful message. Love, peace and light, guys. Be kind to others, as I always say, but most importantly, be kind to you. Take care for now. Mwah.